Why does all of this work have to be so hard? At least I get to get out of college at the end of this semester. I don't have to worry about this again. See, so, how long has it been already? Well, at least we're at the halfway mark. How's it going everybody? This is Tabo Drabo. I hope you all are having another great day and welcome back to another video. So today it is October 24th, 2020, which means we are at the halfway mark now of the fall 2020 semester and also the halfway mark of my final semester as a college student. And that means I got a lot of stuff planned for my YouTube video when this is all set and done. So stay tuned. I'm going to talk a little bit about that later in this video. But today, we're just going to mainly focus on my thoughts so far in the semester and really what's been happening with me throughout the first half of the semester and what I plan to do for the second half overall. So to keep it short and simple, so far, my final semester has gone pretty well so far. You know, I've gotten to make a lot of friends with some of my classmates in some of my classes and I've even done pretty well in a lot of my assignments as well. And you know, so far, I'm continuing to go with the assumption that I am getting straight A's right now which I hope to get in a semester. But overall, like I said before, it's really completely different because I'm usually doing all of my classes in the actual classroom at King University. But like I said, when everything went down with the pandemic and we got switched here to online during the middle of the spring semester, obviously it, it was a completely different change for me. And it's something that I, along with many other students, have had to adapt to up to this point. But uh, so far, you know, I've handled it pretty well. And, you know, obviously having to go all remote for this fall semester, I really think obviously it's a mix of both bad and good. Bad because, you know, obviously it's a lot harder to get all my resources from some of my other students. I've had to contact them through my email and even at times through text as well to be able to get the information I need to be able to succeed in all my classes. But at the same time, it's also good because like I said, you know, around this time, this is when the coronavirus pandemic is expected to get a lot worse. You know, there's supposed to be a huge rise in cases. In fact, I think we may have actually set a new record for daily cases earlier this week. So obviously it limits the chances of me getting COVID-19. But yeah, it really feels a lot different because, you know, this is my final semester and, you know, I, I have to say goodbye to a lot of my college friends. Some of them I might never see again. And some of them I'm going to try my best to be able to keep in touch with because, you know, I, I really want to continue to build these relationships outside of school for as long as I possibly can. And so obviously it's a little bit of sweet because I'm not going to be able to see them as college classmates again. And a lot of that too means I have to say goodbye to many of some of the other stuff that I've gotten to enjoy doing. You know, like being in Kane TV or being a part of honor societies or getting to explore new things. I, I do feel like looking back overall, I really wish I had taken more advantage to do some more of that stuff because I was really limited with a lot of my classes as well. So I mainly spent a lot of time with all of my courses and obviously it kind of affected me when it came to trying to find ways to be able to get in touch with other students and partake in special activities that take place at school as well. And not only that, you know, when I did take my first semester at Kane University, and it was my first overall semester at Union County College as a whole, it, it just felt like, you know, it was a fresh start, you know, I didn't know what was going on. I, I really needed to take a lot of time to be able to get the handle of everything. And, you know, it, it was a bit of a struggle, but as time progressed, you know, I was able to get the handle of all my classes and I was able to become more social. I was able to make a lot more new friends and get take part in a lot of special activities. And as I said, with the exception of one semester, I've been straight A's every single semester ever since. And so obviously it was a pretty unique progression from somebody that was you know, trying to get the handle of community college to now succeeding at the high level at Kane University. At the same time, I feel like college has also formed by pretty fast as well. When I was in high school, it almost felt like forever because there was a lot more stuff that I've had to do than I am doing here at college. In fact, all the classwork in high school, I felt like it was a little bit harder because it made time go longer while I was there. Here at college, time flew by very fast and uh, it really just went by in a blink as well. And so obviously there were a lot of things 
during this time that, like I said, I really wish I had been able to do a lot better of or even do a lot more of as well when it comes to friendships, relationships, and a lot of other stuff regarding Union County College and Kane as well. But, you know, I'm doing well so far, and right now when it comes to the second half of the semester, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna take it like this is my first semester. I'm gonna continue to build as many relationships as I possibly can, and more importantly, just continue to work hard on all my classes. I mean, I've done well so far, and hopefully at the end of the semester, I can achieve one more straight A semester, and. I can get my bachelor's degree and I can find my way in the media and film industry soon. You know, that's my ultimate goal and you know, so far I've done pretty well so far this semester, particularly since it was all online in particular, but however, like I said, everything's going fine so far. So at least when it comes to what happens next, for me personally, I have quite a bit of stuff that I got planned for my YouTube channel throughout the second half of the semester and a lot of changes that I'm going to be making as well. As you know, I'm still trying to get the handle of where I want to take my YouTube channel because again, it's been mainly about vlogs. I want to be able to expand it to projects and other stuff as well. And with that being said, as you may know, I'm now uploading videos at least once a week and all my videos are going to be uploaded on Saturdays from now on. So uh, if you want to see all my YouTube channels for uh, the rest of the semester, all my uploads are going to be on Saturdays on my YouTube channel, so you can be sure to check them out from there. And I got a lot planned when it comes to topics for the second half of the semester. Next week, I'm going to be talking about the presidential election and my prediction for it. So stay tuned next week. I got a pretty fun episode there. And I may even throw in a little Q&A and some other stuff throughout the rest of the semester that I might do for my YouTube channel. So like I said, be sure to stay subscribed so you can see all my videos. and. Yeah, as always, be sure to let me know what you think so far. Like, I really want to know what you think I can improve on, what you think I can do better at, and more importantly, like, what kind of content you would like for me to make. So, obviously, I always want to hear feedback from you. So, please, comment away. Let me know what you'd like for me to do, and more importantly, what you think I can do better on as well. So, keeping this video short as well, because, you know, the last several videos I've gone really long. I believe the last one almost went 15 minutes, so I'm keeping this one very short today. Like I said, everything in college is going well, especially with it going online instead of in person. But again, everything's been the same. I'm succeeding right now, and I hope to continue that throughout the rest of the semester. And like I said, I got a lot of exciting stuff in my YouTube channel throughout the second half of the semester and in the future as well. So. Stay tuned for that because I got a lot planned coming up very soon. That being said, short video today. Just wanted to update you what's going on, my thoughts on the semester so far, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you'd like to see more of my content, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when my next video is released. And as always, let me know what videos you'd like for me to make next. Walks, projects, challenges, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. And as always, follow me on my social media, all my links are in the description below. That's it for today's video, hope you guys are doing well as usual, hope you guys are doing well when it comes to your push to completing your semester. I know it's really difficult during this time here, but obviously we're all going to get through this together, and I promise you there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel when it's all said and done. I can promise you that things are going to get a lot better. That being said, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys are doing well. Go luck in the second half of the semester, every one of you that are still attending. And as always, I hope to see you guys again in another video very soon. So long, everybody.